corners of my heart so you'd have a comfortable stay. I piled my skeletons neatly in the closet and hid my doubts away. I saved the prettiest one for you and me so to be yours and mine. A space no one else could fill, a place no one else could find. You never stayed long enough to unpack because you and your love were elusive and we were only ever less than not exclusive. So maybe I was saving space for a version of you that I still can't have, a better you that cares enough to come back. When you left the first time, I tried to let someone else in and someone else after him, but I lost the key to your room somewhere in your mouth or maybe under your skin. I can't remember which act of self-denial freed me from your grip. I think it started with letting go of your hand. I would if I could, but I can't give myself permission to move on and move someone else into your space where the walls are dusty with a coat of doubt and the skeletons have fallen out in heaps on the floor, rattling, scattered like my sanity and common sense or drunken memories of you and me, blurred and out of order and unjustified but picture perfect in my mind. You've changed. You don't ask me how my day is. You haven't in a while. Sorry. But still I sit and wait for you in your special room that only you have a map to. The others found it by mistake when they lost themselves inside of me. They knock and beg and plead for me to unlock the door just to give up and go home. I wait. I wish I knew what for. Maybe it's your love, but I've never seen his face, so how can I know who's good enough to take your place? I wait for men who look like you and smell like you, who are tall and blunt and unapologetic like you. Men who make unfamiliar the sensation of being lied to. Men who are reluctant to love because they're battle-scarred. But no one, but no one can fill your shoes, because I don't even know what size they are. Oh. I'm waiting for something impossible and unprecedented To hear you'll stay and be able to believe what you said But you'll always leave your promises unkept You never ask me how my day is or what project I'll tackle next You just slip into your room with the key left under your tongue And leave a mess that I would clean in my sleep Just to keep you in my dreams And the next morning when I ask you why you have to leave again You tell me that you like the room I've kept but you're not ready to pay rent. I've forgiven you once and a hundred times, but I'm all out of forgiveness. So take your shit and leave. This is a notice of your eviction.